Chris LaSalle with Shore State University. Today's video is going to be just simply on the different control boxes we have out in the field. There's a little bit of confusion in some of the videos we've had out. I uh, have the older control boxes and we've got newer control boxes being shipped. There's probably three or four different iterations of the same control box. Um, some of them <clears throat> uh, you know, can be a little confusing. Uh, so I just wanted to clear that up real fast. So what we've got is we've got one of our oldest control boxes here. When you remove the lid, there is no battery backup on the lid. And your dip switches that you're so used to seeing are going to be in the center of the box. Okay? That's control box number one. The next control box that we had after that was a solid state box that we had. And now your dip switches are off to the one side. It happens to be the same side that your ship's power lead is coming from. Okay, so you got channel 5, channel 6, and your boat power coming in here. So your dip switches are on that side. Then the next box that we had come out is one with a battery backup that you're going to find has the battery pack strapped to the lid of the box. Uh, the very first model, it was wired directly to the motherboard. Now it's got a clip on it so that when you guys are working inside it, you can unplug it, set it aside. That's the newest form of the box that we have right now. The one thing I want to caution everyone is when you get these boxes that have the battery backup, some of the originals had an on off switch located right here. Uh, just make sure that the switch is on on. As you can see, we've had that removed and had it soldered in the on position. There is really no reason for it to be off ever. So that's the latest box that we have. The processes and procedures for each one of these boxes is identical. We never use switches one, two, three, or four for diagnostics or anything in the field. They are solely used for programming purposes only. Five, six, seven, and eight are what we use for our field diagnostics and testing. Five is whatever is plugged into your center channel, hopefully your port actuator. Six is your starboard actuator. Seven resets home. And eight, we're going to say, is used solely for resetting bad memory. Okay? So that covers all three of our boxes that we've got out in the field. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Otherwise, uh, shortshade.com should have all the answers on our website. Thank you, and have a good day.